hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to get this beautiful quick and easy passion twist hairstyle it's amazing for winter when it's low maintenance time to not do your hair as much so i'm starting with the four bundle back passion twist i just got this from a cosmetic shops that sells the hair in bevel and firstly before i start i just make sure that the braids or the hair is clean i eyeball this and rinse it with some apple cider vinegar and let it lay in the water for about 30 minutes and then let it dry overnight before i start installing this hair so as always i start off on clean freshly washed hair and for this hairstyle i decided to first blow dry my hair before installing the hair just to make it a bit easier for myself and i'm using the as i am leave-in conditioner just to keep my hair moisturized before applying the heat and also to keep my hair moisturized while it's in the protective hairstyle I'm also using some can to grow strong and strengthening treatment this protects your hair from any heat damage as I will be blow drying my hair before I start I just detangle my hair using my 10 minute brush And when it's all detangled, I'll just be using the comb attachment and just erect the comb attachment through my hair strands. And this is the easiest way to get my hair dry in about 30 minutes. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful my curls were popping by just using the leave-in conditioner and the can to cream it was really cool this is then the blow drying process if you are comfortable with working with your natural hair as is just dry towel dry you can work with it like that but because this was my first time doing the passion twist i decided to just blow dry my hair first before installing the passion twist this is then the full blown out look very nice voluminous and you can also work with it as a style if you would like then starting off the passion twists are dry and washed I use some molding gel to keep the locks in place. I use the molding gel mostly for my roots. Also some hair food. This I also just got from the same shop where I got the hair from. This is some extra hold holding gel just to hold my hair in place. I start off by just sectioning my hair. And this was trial in error guys this is my first time doing this hairstyle so it was really just me trying out and doing a trial and error i will definitely do this hairstyle again because i believe that practice makes perfect and if you practice and practice one day you will be perfect so today was the first time trying this so imperfection that's fine like I said before this was trial and error so the first try was just doing my hair into a like a braid and using this hook to pull the passion twist through my hair and making a knot something like that and that method didn't work for me I didn't like that method so I tried another method this one was then using splitting your own hair into two sections and then using the passion twist 
and just rolling it kind of like in your hair and going over and under using the passion twist this method was pulling my hair on my scalp and I didn't like this method as much but that was the only one I knew at the moment and so I just did that the worst part of this hairstyle is just having to twist up until the end of it all this was then the two methods side by side I like the first part like the one in front more so I did that on this side of my head just sectioning my own hair into two sections taking the passion twist and just like rolling it in with my hair and just going over and under this is then the over and under method I hope you guys can see what I'm doing but it's quite easy if you just get the method right like I said this method was killing my scalp and I didn't want that for myself because while I'm doing a protective hairstyle I want the scalp to be as protected as the hair strands and I didn't want it to go through that much pain so then what I did was I did my research again on YouTube and tried to find another method for myself so that's what I did the third method and this is the method I sticked with was using my own hair as the third strand of hair and first doing a box braid like braiding the passion twist hair in and when it's about an inch and a half maybe two inches then i start twisting the hair so it starts with a braid and then a twist and i promise you this method was much easier this was the one I sticked with and this is how I did all of my passion twist. I used my own hair as a braid, like a third strand of the braid and I did a three strand braid. And when it was about two inches, I then started to twist the hair. And this method is beginner friendly for anyone trying to do it for the first time also do make sure that you use the molding gel or a holding gel to make sure that your own hair is slick slick as slick as possible so that it can blend in with the passion twist when you do like twist the hair my hair is red so it is very visible but after the three strand box braid using the two passion twist strands and then your hair as the third strand braid it about two inches down and after the two inches you can either decide to split your own hair into two sections with a strand two strand twist or you can just use your own hair as one piece with one either one of the passion twists
and this was the complete look i just added some mousse to the hairstyle just to set it in place it took me about seven hours because i did everything myself and i had no help and it was load shedding so it took quite a while this is then the full look at the back it's very neat and it can keep you up for about two weeks without any maintenance if you take good care of it at night i just covered with a satin scarf i did cover it with a bonnet as well because i didn't want to sleep with the braids at the bottom but this is then the look the next day this was before I even did my edges, but all of my hair was dry, but it was a bit poofy. I'm not sure if I should have added the mousse or what made my hair so poofy, but this is then the full and final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learned something new. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!